Hello there gamers, I'm the Orange Ranger and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Last time we took on the Armos Knights in the Eastern Temple, defeated all six of them, and got the Pendant of Courage, which you can see there over on the Pendant screen, which I can't actually go to, but you can see that green pendant right there. Now I have returned to Sahasrala Sahasa, so Spaghetti's house. Uh, because he wanted us to bring this pendant back to him and see what was going on with all that. So, nifty. Huts. I don't really need them. They're hearts. But that's always good to know. You can come in here and get three hearts if you're in the neighborhood. Hey, I got you this thing. Fine, don't look at me while I talk to you. <laughs> you can just turn to the side. Oh! <laughs> you got the pendant of courage! Now I will tell you more of the legend. Oh good, more story time. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when the seven wise men created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. What? You were talking to yourself. I didn't say it. Sparmed, I believe you. Old man's hearing voices. It's sad. <laughs> you should get the remaining pendants. I, tell, I sent you to get the one. I always meant for you to get the other two. And carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. And folks... I am so excited. I was just talking about these, and here they are, the Pegasus boots. The Pegasus shoes, whatever. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. That's true. Hold the A button for a short time. These are automatically equipped, by the way. A helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Get it! <laughs> Bring it back to me, you... <laughs> um... I'm going to beep. I didn't say anything too bad there, but I'm going to beep that just in case. <laughs> so, yes, the Pegasus boots. We do a little dashy. By the way, if you didn't go into the wall here because you didn't have bombs or whatever, uh, and that wall is cracked, you can dash into those kind of walls to break them. But, as you might think, that's not the most convenient, uh, happy use of them for me. The most convenient happy use for me is that it's basically a run function. So we can finally dash and move. This game has very long screens that uh, you can go through. And there's, of course, several other things we can do with an item with this kind of ability. Jump down, boom, and run. <laughs> We're going to take off. We are headed back to Kakariko. This is the type of screen I'm talking about. Watch this here. <laughs> so of course I run into something. But yeah, that ability to dash and, and move quickly is so valuable in this game. Because you will seriously have these long screens and walking can feel so slow. You also keep your sword out, so you're automatically defended. You just kind of give these guards a little smack on the butt as you go by. And look at how much faster we're already to Kakariko Village. And then dash south. Just dash until you run into a wall. We are actually headed south, because you might remember, there was a certain book that we had our eyes on but we didn't know how to get it. I mean, we could have just tried to see if anybody knew where the librarian was, or maybe we could stack some of these chairs into a little step ladder to get it. Or we can just run and smack our shoulder into things. Book fall down, get book. This is the book of Mudora. You can use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. 
I will admit this is getting an item before the character knows that they really need it, but I had seen it before, so that's where I'm going with that. Okay. All right, so as I was saying, there are several things that you can get having these boots. The first is gonna be back over by the sanctuary, so we're gonna head back there yet again. Ha! 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 There we go. Okay. By the way, just to demonstrate... Oh, shoot! Stop sleeping in the bushes! Dashing also lets you go through lines of bushes, and you saw there it kept me from getting hurt by that mine. Okay, so near the sanctuary, up there, so we have to go screen over. Hmm, that, that looks a lot like the, oh, it's not. I really thought there might be something in there. See, I don't remember everything about this game, and I'm not staring at the walkthrough. You know, I'm letting it guide me point to point, but, um... You know, I'm not staring at it to figure out where stuff is. There can be things in trees if you ram them. I got that guy's attention, but he has no way of getting to me. Piles of rocks. Little tiny rocks. I can't pick them up. But I can dash them. I can dash and break them. We're gonna go in here. There's a chest. Piece of heart! Hooray! Next, we are going to head south, which this screen is kind of an awkward screen and not a lot happens here and it's just a bunch of trees. It's not quite like a forest or anything, but it is the left side. Oh, there's new enemies at the castle. Bomb throwers, which means you probably want to move. <laughs> Spear throwers. I am not headed to the castle, though. I am going back to my house. Always good to visit the old homestead and make sure that nothing's happened to it while I've basically left it empty and abandoned. Gonna check out the house. Honestly, I really just came in here to get one heart, to be back at full health, and then leave. Because we're not going directly here. What we're doing is heading down to this area. This is the swamp. And we're gonna go down more. And we're, uh, we're gonna go up. Oh, it's over here. It, no. This is a pretty major thing in this part of the game. It's weird that I'm lost. Maybe, I think it's further to the south? Yeah, there it is. This is what you're looking for. This building in here. We're gonna go on inside. And you have another little blocky push puzzle. I'm going to say with this one, unfortunately, there's not a way to solve this in which you can open the treasure chest and also proceed. You can either block the treasure chest and go in, or you can open the treasure chest and then have no way of getting inside. Because you have to push this up, you have to push this up, this over, open the treasure, you get some more bombs. But... Now, you can't just step over the treasure chest, obviously, so you have to walk back out, walk back in, the blocks reset, and you can do that. So, there you go. Pull the lever. Wrong lever! And this time it's just bombs, so just move. Pull this lever. And it opens up that dam, I guess, for lack of a better term, again. And now that's all water and stuff. 
we come out here. And two things. Piece of heart, number one. Number two, fishies. You can pick up the fishies. And now, I'm pausing to, to make this point, to elucidate, if you will. There are two different things you can do here. I find it interesting that there's two fish. I'm gonna see if I can do both. The first option is to save the fish directly. And to do that, you just take the fish. No, save the fish! Okay, got the fishy. Yeah. These evil people trying to keep me from saving the fish. Toss them in the water. To look for more rupees, but don't tell them why I gave them to you. Keep it between us, okay? Gives you 20 bucks. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. And you go back here, and this spills back up. But, I will admit, I learned this one from the Game Grumps. But, um, I never knew about it until then. And, you know, this was the, um, this was Dan and Aaron's playthrough. And I never knew this. Drain the swamp again. And we are going to go get a fish. I want it to be the other one, just for story reasons. Come here. And now we're going to go on a little journey. You can't dash while you're holding something either, so this is going to be fun. If you get hit, you drop the fish, and it hops around, and it can be really hard to catch. We are going to go back to Kakariko Village. All the way there. Uh, no. You also walk a little bit slower when you're carrying stuff. I had to take a second to remember the way I came, because that's basically where I came from, so I'm going back. Duh. Okay, good. Oh, he's... Oh, okay. That dude was playing jump rope. Save the fish! Oh, no! The fish glitched into the wall! Fishy red! I'm really gonna have to go get another fish. I don't, I don't know if it can wiggle its way out. Come here, fishy! Oh no! Fishy Fred got trapped on the wall forever! Buttholes, I blame you in particular. I don't know why, because you're not the one who hit me. That was a large magic container, but what is up with this dude? Oh, he used to be an adventurer and then he took an arrow to the knee. And yeah, the fish is gone, which kind of indicates that it glitched out. So, hold on, Let me go get another fish. All right, got another fish. Let's try this again, shall we? I promise you that I saved the fish by jumping into the water with the fish and lost a significant number of hearts um, trying to retrieve it and then getting the 20 bucks it was giving me. I will say that, again, is a uh, seems to be a renewable, grindable source of rupees if you need money for something. I already have 516 rupees, so... I believe from the beginning your max rupees is just 9.99. I don't believe the concept of the wallet sizes was introduced until later Zelda games. Alright, fish, come on. I mean, I know that you don't have as good a fate in store as the fish that just gets freed in the water, but, like, listen, I need to demonstrate this to the people watching my channel, so... this I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe they want a pet. I will say I'm giving this to someone. So... Can I just go this... I feel like I can go this way. Uh... Oh, shoot. Oh... Uh, jump down carrying something. Oh, I can! Oh, good. Um, but shoot. 
they all kind of reset. Yeah, I can go up this way. Shoot! This is where it's blocked. I have to go south and around the Lost Woods. Okay, go down this way. I mean, it's amazing at this point that this fish is still alive. <laughs> you would have think that oxygen deprivation would have been a thing, but apparently not. Follow this path. Go over here. Side entrance to Kakariko. Up this way. Again, I keep getting lost in that little particular section. But we have brought a fish to Kakariko Village, and we are going to give it to... Mr. Bottle Salesman up here. Why? I don't really know why, but... Doesn't it seem like he puts on a show? There's a little stage here, and then there's seats. You know? <laughs> It, it kind of looks like a Snake Charmer show, but I guess when he's not doing a show, he uh, does that. Anyway, take the fish to him. Hey! They say eating fish makes you smart. You have to give me this fish for this stuff, okay? Done. I might have to, like, show the cap there, but that was like 30 or 40 rupees. That was some arrows. Um, uh, I heard a heart noise, so some health. He's out of bottles. Okay. So, yeah. The the fish from the swamp, you can put it in the water and get 20 bucks. And give one to the bottle guy and get a bunch of stuff. So, that's neat. You know the only thing that's better than money? More money. Okay, I'm going to do something here. The walkthrough is not telling me to do this yet, but I don't see why I wouldn't. So, I'm going to spurn things. This guy. Right? You see, he runs off really fast. And then you go back this way and he's back. We have dashy boots now. Hmm. I think you kind of have to go into it dashing, maybe. If you go into it dashing, he doesn't show up. Huh. Where'd he go? Now he's gone! That's not cool. Maybe that's why you're not supposed to... You can catch him and talk to him. I'm going to leave the screen and come back and see if that brings him back. Because you can catch him and talk to him. There he is. <laughs> Am I wrong about this and, this is, and that's why? You can't upgrade the boots at any point. I think it's just the way I'm doing it. Because, like, I'll dash into him, and then I think you have to get him to start running. And I think it's better, because you see, it's it's not as far to the edge of the trees here. I think you have to get him to start running and then chase him down. Yeah, there we go. See? I can't believe you caught me. With your speed, it must have been easy to kidnap Zelda. You don't look like such a bad guy, though. Anyway, because you have such quick feet, it might be a good idea to run and bash into many things. For examples, the trees in this village have many useful things hiding in their branches. We'll just try it, okay? I really thought you got something out of that. He tells you that you can do this. Get money. Noise. I guess. <laughs> Speaking of which, we are getting money. We're gonna go... No, we're gonna... We will go there, but not right now. We're gonna go this way! Donk. Out here... You know what? I'll see you at the Swamp Ruins. Actually, let's stop back at my house, cause I have health in my house. <laughs> Going to the pots by my bed that I wish I was still sleeping in to refill my health.
So we're gonna head to the east a couple of screens. Oh, oh shoot. I thought Bird stole things from you when he hit you, but I guess not. Cramp? Me too. Okay, we're gonna head to the east two screens. Welcome. Gosh dang, Toucan. They call that thing a crow, but that is not a crow. <laughs> Welcome to Lake Hylia. It's over there. Lake. <laughs> but, more importantly, wall. Bump. Beetle. Kaboom. Open up a cave. Ooh. But how the other ones? You can actually just squeech by. Obviously, you could also use your bow and arrow. But in case you don't have ammo, you are able to just walk. Not bad for money itself. Go on through the door. Hello. How? Hey. Take some rupees. But don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep it between us, okay? I don't know why everybody has kind of a slangy New York accent, but... 300 rupees. Three bombs, which I think I'm already maxed out at 10. 320 rupees. 340 rupees. And arrows, which I'm also maxed out on. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, I gave you 300 bucks not to steal my other stuff. Sorry, dude. <laughs> it's just how we roll. Yay, enemies regenerate when you leave a place because yay. <laughs> because yay. Anyway. Any yay? Moving on. <laughs> We're gonna go around the lake. See, it's a pretty big lake. It's definitely a lake. Hi, balloon. Uh, oh, hi. That's really scary. I would call that... Oh, fairy. I would say that's how you reproduce, but then you die. So... Anyway... <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head up here. Head kind of to the north side of the lake situation. You know, I can't be too mad at an enemy for doing me damage if when I kill it, it gives that damage back. <laughs> Even if, like, fr whoa! <laughs> like, jeez! Hiding in the grass. How tall is that grass? Ice cave. And in the ice cave are two ice holes. See there? Ice holes. Two fairies. I do still have... Okay, yeah. I do still have one, so... One will fill my health, but and so will the other. Huh. That let me push these blocks. Well. I didn't know about that. Okay, so the walkthrough clued me into the fact that if you dash into the fairy statue, you will release a special creature. Oh, don't go away! There it is. I caught a bee, but not just any bee. You saw how it was sparkling and stuff. That is a good bee. Uh, the good bee, let's uh, find some enemies and, and see what the good bee does. Yep, it is labeled as a good bee. Okay, that's interesting. The good bee defeats the enemies on the screen and then returns to Link. 
to be caught again. The owl! I didn't see there was mine there. Interesting! Okay. But there was another section there, and there's not a hole to jump into, but there is this badly placed rock to cover up a secret entrance. Bomb our way in. And here we are here. This is the ice rod. This is a special item that we can get now, but we actually don't need until very, very late in the game. Uh, it casts ice. This item is, I think, required to defeat a boss. But it's not in their temple. It's all the way out here. That's some increased exploration, and I really like that. All right, we've only got one more thing to get, and it is actually very near our next destination. We... I will once again see you back at the Swamp Ruins. Money Spider! I kept killing it, and then I was like, there's a way to get it to give you money. So... Here at the Swamp Ruins! This time we're going a little... Stand still! Thank you. <laughs> we're going a little further over. And heading... Whoop, that way is blocked. Because rocks are not a thing that we can do anything about right now. Oh, speaking of money spider. Oh, but I can't pick up rocks, so... I'll just end his struggles. We are... Oh, well, oh, there's a dude. What's this say? Pay no attention to the average middle-aged man standing by this sign. Leave him alone. Well, he's sitting down, so I guess that means I can talk to him. Wordless. Okay. Anyways... Hey, here's a cave. Let's see what's in the cave. Let's explore caves. <gasps> She's pretty, pretty full. <laughs> this is a fairy fountain. I will soothe your wounds and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. That's a free heal. Anytime. Yep. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head here. Oh, the color of the ground's changing. Welcome to the Desert of Mystery. Which is gonna be our next stop. And there's vultures. Which can be very difficult to hit. Another enemy that can be hit by the boomerang, but is not frozen by it. Thank you. All right, up here next to this guy, there's a cave. Gonna head on into the cave. Walk on over to the right. I don't know why I'm singing this part. Oldman, Sahara Hustle Sossel, what are you doing here? Aha! It is the Book of Medora. With it, you can read the language of the Hylia people. What the heck? I don't think that's actually supposed to be Sarasarala, but maybe it is. But anyway, actually, uh, there's... Uh, this is the important part. Wall prospecting. That's the title of the... That is the title of this episode. Wall Prospecting. Piece of heart. Three out of four. Okay. 
And that wraps up the list of things that we can do before heading into our second temple. So, let's go ahead and get there before calling this an episode. Oh, I'm gonna get you! That thing has always been kind of creepy to me. Oh! That one got me. No! Run! <laughs> ah! They're scary. I don't like it. Okay. That's interesting. Interesting also that there was that man in the cave that said that the Book of Medora can read Hylian. Is that Hylian? I couldn't even begin to tell you, but may as well try it, right? Go up to the tablet, equip the book, hit Y. To open the way to go forward, make your wish here, and it will be granted. Oh, well, I can make a wish? Okay, so um, I wish for the world to be safe and all this to be over. Stole that from Game Grumps, I know. Uh, although I will say, counteracting that joke a little bit, it does say to open the way forward, make your wish here. So, I take off my hat. I wish to go forward and eat this pie. <laughs> Press a button to get it to go. And then what I find inter interesting about this is that they only have to move a little to get to here, but they move into this formation, and you can't leave. But I wanted to go get a drink of water before I... Okay. All right. The stairs and into the mouth of whatever that thing is. Next time on The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, we'll be taking on the Desert Palace. Thank you so much for watching another episode of... The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past on Orange Ranger Plays. Let me know what you thought about this down below by clicking that like button and leaving me a comment. Please subscribe so the channel can grow and I can invest back into it, get it towards monetization. And check me out on social media, Orange Ranger Plays, pretty much everywhere except Twitter, Orange RNGR Plays. And check out my Teespring store, Orange Ranger Videos on Teespring. Until next time, gamers, may the power of the Triforce protect you. <laughs>